grandma's house. Have you ever noticed that there are events, perhaps even prior to your birth, that have shaped you? My mother was the youngest surviving child of nine in her family. So when my mother went off to college, my grandmother went with her. My grandmother remained in the household even after my father and mother were married. Now that fact alone says a whole lot about both my grandmother and my parents. I was 12 when grandma left us with heaven as her destination. My grandma was the one who taught me how to sew. She was the one that would get a nasty look on her face and say, I'm going to stop making this when we'd gobble up her food quickly because we liked it. Grandma was so good at being a grandma that I wanted to grow up and be like her. Now her daughter, my mom, is also very much like her in personality and actions. I have been so fortunate in my life to have many role models around me that I have wanted to be like. Of course, I've had some too that I don't want to be like. We all have those. But we have choices. Now, whether we fail or succeed at our personal goals, we still have people around us that are looking at us and making those decisions about us. What we do, what we say, who we are, affects those around us and those that come after us. Regardless of age or position in life, we're being looked at. Now, other people have their choices. We're not responsible for their choices. But don't you want to be the best example that you can be? It seems to me that what we do, what we say, who we are, is our opportunity to shape not only our family, but the world. Let's do it.